In this video, you will learn how to play the first part of the second section of Fur Elise. We are looking at the second section of Fur Elise at the first two lines right here. So in this section, what I want you to notice before we start is that there is a word right here by the piano marking that says cantando. And what that means is that this is a singing section. So the right hand melody should sing over what is happening in the left hand. So we're gonna start by looking at the right hand melody. For now, I'm going to look away from these three notes here and we're going to pick up right here in measure number 25. So measure 25 starts with a C. If you take out those little tiny notes at the beginning, the first note is C. You start it with a four, you put your thumb there, then you come up to F, E, E, D. B flat, A, fourth finger will come here now, A, G, F, E, D, C, B flat, A. So that is the first phrase. Here we go. It starts with C, thumb, F, E, E, D, B flat, A, A, G, F, E, D, C, B flat, A. Okay, now we're going to look at those tiny notes that come first. So the first beat's going to start with that C, but before you come in on the first beat, we're going to play F A really fast. So it's like, try that with me. And you'll notice my wrist is swinging this way. One more time. Good. Let's continue through the rest of the phrase. Good. Now the next part goes pretty fast. So you see one of those leading notes again, which is a B flat, and the note that starts on the beat is actually going to be A. So first we're going to play it just with the notes that are on the beat. So it's A, G, A, B, C, thumb goes there again, D, D sharp, E, E, F, A, C, and then we'll skip those little notes, D, B, C. So this C is the first note in measure 32. So we're going to play that again without the leading notes and then we'll add them in. So it's A, G, A, B, C, thumb, D, D sharp, E, E, F, A, C, D, B, C. Okay, we're gonna put those leading notes in. So the first one is B flat. So A, G, A, B, C, D, D sharp, E, E, F, A, C. Now this is three, two, one, two, really fast though. And you'll notice there's a tenuto mark over that D there. So you play those three, two, one, two, really fast. And then when you land on the D, it's stressed and you wanna push deeply through it. So B, C. Okay, we're going to play this whole section right hand, we just need to talk about the three chords that come in the beginning. So it starts with C and E, C and F, C, G, E. One more time. Okay, we're going to continue all the way through the section with the right hand. Ready, set, go. Little leading note. A lot of leading notes. Okay, so looking at the left hand, I'm going to skip those three chords that lead into the section again, and we're going to play the chords for each section blocked. So I'm starting in measure 25. The first chord is here. This is middle C, so your thumb should be on middle C, and it's just a one chord. Then we go to a four chord. 
And now we're going to go to this version of a five, seven, four kind of. So it's F, G, B flat, E, and then we go back to an F chord. The next measure is also an F chord. Then we go to this. At the end of this measure, there's this. And then we go to this. Okay, so let's break it up now. So starting with an F chord, and I'm gonna count them. So one and two and three and now a four chord. One and two and three and now we're going to go to this chord here. So it's five, one, middle, one, middle, one. Back to F chord, one and two and three. And again here, and two, and three, drop E, A, C, A, D, F, G, E, G, E, G, F. And the first note of the next section is C and E. So I want to look at the harder section there, which is going to start in measure 30. So measure 30, that's where we want to have our hand like this to start. Now we first go E, A, C, A, and then we need to stretch D's and an F. G, E, G, E, G, F, C, and E. Try that part with me. So I'm starting on measure 30 left hand. E, A, C, A, D. Okay, so all we need to do now is look at the first three chords that lead into the section. So that, again, I'm on middle C here, is C and B flat, C and A, C and B flat, and then G. So you'll notice the bottom note is going like that. It's leading down. Good. Let's play this whole section left hand only. I'm going to start on the second and beat for the measure before because there's a pickup. One and two and three and 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 one and That's the left hand part. Before you move on to combine the parts, you should feel very strong at the right and the left hand part, not playing them quickly. You should be playing them at a pace that's about one and two and three. And because combining this section is not easy if you are going too fast. So don't start to combine until you feel very confident about the right hand and the left hand separately. But let's talk about what to do when you are ready to combine. So the first thing I want you to do is to take your music and I want you to draw lines to connect when the right hand comes in with the left hand. This will keep it really clear. It might also help you to write in the counts. So that looks like this, one and two and three and a, uh, because you'll notice that that beat right there comes in on the a uh beat. Okay, so we're going to start to combine this. We're going to go pretty slowly. We're coming off the first section, which ended with this. In this transition, we go, so that's one and two and three and. And that part often stretches and slows down a little bit. So we'll try that again. One and two. And three and one. 
So what we're going to do is slow it down even a little bit more um, and try to play it together. So get your hands ready right here. We're starting on the second and beat. One and two and three. There. I should have written it down before I started to count, but you're going to start piecing it together very slowly like that. Pull out a metronome and as you feel like you have mastered playing it slowly there, you're ready to start pushing the speed forward a little bit. Don't push it too fast yet because we have two more tricky lines to learn before we speed up this whole section and those tricky lines go even faster than these ones did. Good job. So let's talk about a practice plan for this section of fur release. I'd like you to play it for five to 10 minutes a day. You should have the metronome on while you're playing because it will help you with counting. First, I'd like you to work on mastering the right hand. That means that you feel totally comfortable. You have all the correct notes. You have the correct tempo and dynamics. Once you have that, move on to master the left hand. And once you have that, go ahead and work on putting them hands together. You're going to begin really slow and then you can start to work the speed up once you have it down slow. Good luck on practicing this section.